Let's say we're asked to find the slope between negative 4 comma negative 1 and the point negative 4 comma negative 5. We start with the usual assignment. We can assign negative 4 comma negative 1 to be x1, y1 and negative 4 comma negative 5 to be x2, y2. Remember that the slope is always given by rise over run, which is simply a change in y over a change in x. And the formula algebraically is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Replacing the letters with the appropriate numbers, we see that y2, negative 5, minus y1, negative 4, goes in the numerator. And then similarly, negative 4, which is x2, minus negative 4, which is x1, goes in the denominator. Now we can distribute the negatives to get a positive 1 here. Negative times a negative is positive. And then the same thing happens in the denominator as well. Negative times a negative is also a positive. Now if we simplify the numerator and simplify the denominator, we get negative 5 plus 1 as negative 4, and negative 4 plus 4 as 0. Now hopefully you remember, division by zero is illegal. We can't do it. This was the case where the slope was undefined, since we can't get a nice number for the answer. Now you could have also thought about this problem geometrically, and the hint here is that the two x-coordinates for the points are the same. That means that the line must be vertical. Hopefully you remember the little factoid that I discussed in an earlier video. The slope of all vertical lines is undefined. So looking at the x-coordinates, once you recognize that they are the same, you could have concluded that this must be a vertical line. And by virtue of it being a vertical line, the slope must be undefined. So another way of coming up with the same answer.